Hello and welcome to Tending the Soul, this ministry of Robbinsdale Parkway United Church of Christ. I'm Reverend T. Michael Rock, and along with Reverend Kathy Itson, we are the pastors here at this church, and we offer these moments to help us connect to the earliest form of those who followed in the way, who were trying to find a, a way through a sense of a, a world that was inundated with, with violence and oppression and and a savior comes into that mix and gives a new path, a way um, that is not violent, that is gracious, that is compassionate, um, a way that transforms the soul. And those early followers gathered together in circles and they, they told stories and, and they sat in silence together. And they embodied those visions of compassion and justice and nonviolence and, and, and formed a new way not just for themselves, but for the whole world. And that's what we're doing here in these Tending the Soul videos is to help you connect to all of us who are moving into that place, that new way, that new path of experiencing justice for not just ourselves, but, but for the whole world, for everyone. And it's why we come on this day, on this November 10th, 2020, remind ourselves that in the midst of the trauma of experiencing um, a leader that doesn't find in himself the way of compassion and justice and nonviolence, that we've all experienced a level of hurt and pain in the midst of, of this, uh, these last four years, but most importantly in the midst of COVID. The isolation and loneliness hasn't allowed us to sit in circles and remind ourselves of these ways of compassion, justice, and nonviolence. And so these videos are ways that we get together knowing that there are others watching this at the same time, that, that there are others that are connecting to this deeper truth of who we are and who we are called to be. This moment today is really about that place of not being alone. That we are connected in ways that we sometimes can only imagine, and that will allow us to heal from all of the forms of trauma that we've experienced. The first thing I was told years ago when I was trained to listen to folks on the other end of a suicide hotline was to listen. And later when I was uh, part of a team that escorted uh, women to their appointments at Planned Parenthood, the beginning of that training was to meet people and to listen. To listen and really hear their stories. To be present, completely present, not with your own baggage, but to come to that place to really listen to another. And that work, tends to not just my soul, but to the souls of, of the person I'm listening to. So if we can find a way to understand and listen and to, to really get into the stories that we share, the stories that have caused hurt, woundedness, and, and trauma, um, will allow us to be a trauma-informed community a trauma-informed culture, a trauma-informed society. And, and what that does, friends, it, it's so amazing, is that it, it takes away judgment. It takes away um, how we view the world on, on a cer with a certain lens, or you have to be this way or that way. Doing this work allows us to kind of experience non-judgment in a way that is healing and just and good for everyone. So friends, this experience is so true that I compel you to find in your heart. And this is the beauty of doing this in the midst of COVID, listening to those in your life who've experienced trauma and even going deeper into listening more or listening in a new way to those who you know have experienced hardship in their life. To set a date and to really listen to someone you love. But the beauty of poetry and music and, and story is that we can tap into these stories all the time. They're right here on YouTube. They're right here on Facebook. They're, they're everywhere. People do express 
and to practice the art of listening without judgment. This is what was happening when they formed a new path, a new way, a new experience of being in the world that was full of compassion and justice and love. This new way allows us to open our hearts to everyone that we meet. And it is a challenge, but it is a challenge filled with grace and gratitude. So tend to your soul in this way. Listen deeply and find your soul connection.